The speaker is outside the 7-Eleven. A man sleeps a few feet away. I'm recording what I'm seeing and hearing on my iPhone when I notice him wake up. I'm curious how he feels about it. Does that music bother you? No? (laughs) John Everson studies the effect of music on the brain. He says music can be very beneficial, if it's your choice to listen. Or you're deciding which music to listen to and how loud to listen to it and when to turn it off. Right? When you take that away, I think um, you know, things change very dramatically. Right? Everson says unwanted background noise raises stress levels. And the less money you make, the harder it is to find quiet spaces. You almost need to pay more to buy more silence. I asked Joey Rubio about it. He used to be homeless and now works as a program supervisor at a detox center. But Rubio doesn't really want to talk about the opera music. There are other needs that feel much more urgent to him, like understanding why people are sleeping there and where else they could go. We need more beds, you know? That's what it all comes down to. You can't just send somebody with mental health right back out to the streets and expect them to get right. Music might not be enough to keep the thousands of San Diegans experiencing homelessness away from places like 7-Eleven that have accessible bathrooms and shade. Even opera. Katie Heisen, KPBS News.